Folks, what you're looking at is our uh, greenhouse, our palm propagation house at 48 degrees north latitude. Lots of sable miners. Those are all sable miners. Lots of sable miners browning on the tips just because I've uh, cut back on the watering. And uh, I did actually water it about uh, two weeks ago because it was super dry and it went for like a month without watering. So anyway, um, this is what a non-heated greenhouse looks like this far north. When the temperatures fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, we can, uh, we do have the option of turning on those old school C9 Christmas lights. Each bulb is seven watts. I think there's probably 20 bulbs or so on the strand. Some of them are probably burnt out, some of them are missing, but uh, it just seems to provide enough warmth in here so uh, none of these palms freeze. Dual fans going 24 seven, keep the vents open. You wanna prevent the botrytis uh, mold. So you can see a lot of burnt ends on these uh, palms here from the dryness because I like I said I hold back on the watering that's just the way it goes I always do that and cut those ends off But yeah, they uh, the palms are much happier when we got some sun blasting in here and heating it up So and it does warm up on a winter day when you get sun. This is an 8 by 12 uh, glass greenhouse um, in the extreme cold of 2008 December 2008 I use this to heat it right here Let me put that there That baby right there, that's a uh, propane heater. I haven't used that for, well, 13 years now. And hopefully I won't have to ever use it again. There is actually still propane in it. And uh, otherwise we probably, it probably would have frozen here. All the palms out here in the nursery are as is. They get mulched with leaves. Those ones have no heat in those cold frames. Those did fine too in the December 2008 uh, freeze. And so did these uh, Trachycarpus palms. But the greenhouse, because they're in a lot smaller pots, and which surprises me because those are in small pots too and nothing froze in there. And I don't water those until spring again now or late winter. I've, I, I cut back on the water for months. They get zero water from me. So anyway, folks, that's how we do it here in the North uh, Pacific, uh, an eight by 12 greenhouse, lots of sable miners, lots of sable miners. And there's everything else in here as well. There's Perijubea, there's uh, Siroxalon here, there's date palms, and uh, looks like another mule palm in the back. And uh, it seems to work uh, really well just with the Christmas lights. So if you live in a similar climate, you could uh, try that in your own greenhouse, providing your greenhouse isn't that big. This isn't a big greenhouse. So it seems to always work for us here, you know, until you have record breaking cold. And that's when you put on that little propane tank. And thank God we don't see record breaking cold here that often. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Like and subscribe for more videos here from this channel. And also check out my other channel, Jungle Joe. See? Cheers.